for her love of the arts, her visions, and her endless, really endless passion, which of course makes an exhibition like this possible. The combination of nature, the garden you see here, and, it, in it, um, and art is for my mom in its tactile aspects and in its holistic and grounding impact closest to her heart. Tonight we are fortunate to have Billy and Johanna um, with us and I would encourage all of you to ask them, seek them out and ask them about what these special works we can see here mean to them. I would like uh, or ask you to take one moment and think about your definition of ego. And keep this thought while you listen to this lecture about art and ego development. And keep it until the end and try to truly remember what that thought is. If I would continue to ask each one of you, you would be surprised how different the variations of your definition of ego are. In general, we are not aware how our ego develops, nor are we aware of its hierarchical structure. It is the easiest to see the basic developmental structures by observing a pers person's physical development. In other words, it is easiest to see personality development in the context of a person, like a child's physical development. I just have the beauty or the, the luck to experience that beautiful development in my daughter. She's two years and already in these two years it's like gigantic steps I see from birth to now. We think being an adult is the final achievement of ego development, but is actually the stage when we as humans finally have the tools to achieve a higher level or higher stage of ego development. For example, it is an artist or musician may reach technical perfection. The question is, can they enrich the technical perfection with something less tangible and more unique, something like spirit and soul? Don't we have all these experiences that a beautiful piano player plays sensational, but it doesn't reach us? We are sitting there and we say, yeah, this was a great Bach, sensational, but actually I can feel anything. A unique shade to a, to a base of technical understanding is for an artist the highest level he can find. That differentiate him from somebody who is technically great to somebody who is a real artist. Also the art world seems in its presentations by Billy's sculptures you see here and Joanna's painting they seem perfect they seem complete they seem fulfilled art reflects in stations the culmination of an artist's lifelong confrontation with art with the world and with their ego the low or high levels of ego development we have achieved are re reflected most visible in our approach to politics, in how we act as professionals, how we live our chosen religion, in how we interact with society, in how we raise our families, in how we handle the trauma, and in a very unique way in how we love. This can be the motivation to fulfill our individual destiny. To be a real human. Yes. Thank you very much.